Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Report for Thursday, November 19th, 2020. Free pick in college football for Thursday night. Tulsa and Tulane doing battle. We'll get to that. Uh, first quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video. Get yourself set up for a free $60 account, which you can then use on any of my daily packages or anybody else at DocSports.com. All right, uh, we look ahead. It is football Thursday at DocSports.com. We release our football plays on Thursday afternoon for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. You get them all on Thursday. Been a lot of cancellations in college football so far this week, but we look like we're going to have probably going to have around seven plays. Here's what you do, because I'm recording this late Wednesday afternoon. Go over to my Handicappers homepage on Thursday. I expect to have at least seven plays between college and pro football combined. Our seven-star conference game of the month is still a go. There's no COVID issues in that game. And we've been on a real nice run. The last five college football Saturdays, we've hit 60% against the spread. Uh, we've been on a nice big play run, including last week with Marshall uh, getting the easy win. So check that out if you wish. Seven star play, by the way, those plays, the seven star slash main events, 43 and 26, 62% run in college football going back several years now. As far as the NFL, we're creeping up there in that OV contest that we won last year, hitting 60%. Uh, we're hitting about 56% right now. We've jumped into the top 10. There's got to be, I'm going to guess, about 40 or 50 people that got into it. But uh, uh, also, my other contests were starting to creep up also in the NFL. So uh, college football, again, NFL combined. Mind, we're, I'm almost positive it's going to be seven plays. And again, that seven-star play is a go for this weekend for Saturday in college football. All the college football and pro football plays available in one package at DocSports.com on Thursday. Don't forget about KBO. We cashed again on Wednesday morning. We are 6-1-1 one, and one in Korean baseball playoff action. And we won with Dusan on Wednesday morning. 5-4 victors over NC. That series now tied at a game apiece. They get back in action on Friday morning. Very early, as you know. And and so my KBO play, we're going to have at least a six-star play on this one, will be available on Thursday for Friday's game. So you can check that out if you wish. Again, 6-1-1 one, and one in the Korean playoffs. 7-3 and three, the last 10 in soccer, plus PGA all week long. As you know, we handicap day by day, round by round in the PGA, and handicap soccer each and every day. So be sure to check all of that out. And we are just a few days away, guys from the college basketball. So let's hope everything goes well and they get the season underway in time. All right, let's get to the free play uh, for Thursday. Tulane and Tulsa. And by the way, oh, I almost forgot to mention a couple of things. First of all, if you haven't checked it, the Mountain West game for Thursday between Wyoming and Utah State has been canceled. And this news came out Wednesday afternoon right before I jumped on to record this video. Almost forgot to relay it. You probably have heard by now. Uh, the Raiders have at least seven defensive starters who have had to shut down practice this week. All seven are said to be potentially be able to play, eligible to be able to play on Sunday if everything goes well well but just a heads up on that matchup between the Chiefs and the Raiders uh, the Raiders do have seven defensive starters at least who've had to shut down practice for the week against KC uh, also Rafael Esparza and I cut a weekend video uh, NFL Joes versus pros we have a free play that we gave out on the Packers Colts game we did talk about KC and the Raiders unfortunately when we cut the video that information hadn't come out yet on Vegas so just a heads up there but check out that video four games we talk about in all including uh, that free play on the Packers and Colts. All right, let's get to the free pick for Thursday. Uh, it's the battle between Tulane and Tulsa. I, I, th it's a short travel week. We get it for the green wave, but I think it's been baked into this number. It's up to six and a half. Also, Tulane was unbelievable in the second half against Army last week. They outscored them 24 to nothing. It was a two-point game at intermission, and then they just cut loose on both sides of the line of scrimmage in the second half. Tulsa's fresh off a real nice win over SMU. Tough win, big win. Here's the thing about Tulsa. So they're also thinking about they've got a shot uh, real soon to come this close to wrapping up a spot in the AAC Conference Championship game. But I think that number's a little bit too big, uh, guys. It's a situation where I believe this number should be three. Uh, we like the points with Tulane. Not only have they looked good, or especially last week in the second half against Army, but you've got a quarterback in Michael Pratt that is looking better by the week. He's a young gun, and he's looking better by the week. He's a freshman for the Green Wave. And again, I think this number is a little bit too 
high. Tulane's covered, what, five in a row overall. I know Tulsa has a little bit of revenge here, uh, but I throw that out the window. I like Tulane plus the points. Our opinion, our free play for Thursday college football. Don't forget, footballthursday.sports.com. All of my plays, including the seven-star conference game of the month in college football, is going to be available on Thursday. It's a Saturday play, all seven plays. Check it out on my homepage at docsports.com. And don't forget all the other sports we're involved with every single day of the week. All right, if you like the videos, click on the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, docsports.com.